Hello, black friends. So we are here today at Jello Sanctuary. I think this is the first time that I'm going to shoot my own video here at Jello Sanctuary. Most of my videos, if you've seen it already, are nursery tours and garden tours with my friends, gardens, and nurseries. So. This is the first time that I'm going to show you Jello Sanctuary and um, I made this video to show you um, how I do repot uh, my aloes because they're basically overgrown right now um, and since we have nothing to do during this lockdown period so might as well and also I'm going to apply the learnings that was shared by my fellow plant friends uh, during our live ethnic session uh, on the Jello Sanctuary Facebook page last night. So last night they, they told us about the proper care of your cacti and succulents. So I'm going to apply them and uh, you know you can probably try it as well so that we can see if uh, we'll be able to grow our plants bigger and better. The first thing that we need to do uh, when we repot is we have to make sure that we prepare our plants uh, for repotting. So what are the reasons that you need to repot? So one thing that I look uh, if I need to repot my plant if it is already it has overgrown the pot. So basically if the roots are already going uh, outside of the pot, either above or under the pot, I'm going to repot it. And sometimes if I have an, a good pot <laughs> that I want my, my special plant to be potted, I, I repot it. Okay? So I, I don't basically have a specific season when I repot. I just look at my plant, see if it needs a repot, and then um, I repot it. So one of the examples, uh, like what I've told you, that I've prepared already, are some of my aloe collection. So as you, you can see, um, this aloes came from Arid and Aroids. Uh, I purchased this last September. So from very small um, seedlings, and now they are almost uh, medium grown or whatever I like especially this one okay so how do how do we prepare them um, lately I've been hearing a lot about um, trimming the roots uh, when you repot so that's what I basically did to my aloes and some of the other plants that I have here so if you would notice um, usually the roots of this aloes are very long um, so what I did is that I just cut it uh, to almost an inch leaving just an inch of the main root and also it's a good opportunity for you to clean up the roots of your aloes so if you can see let me show you some okay. um, so for example for this one um, I did I did not cut this because this is a new root. I only cut all of those old roots uh, that are stemming from here. So if you would notice, I know, meron siya na mga bulok na, na roots. So I cut those. Uh, the three ones that are light in color, I don't cut because they are new roots. So I don't want to disturb them. So next thing, so after I root trim them, uh, I'm just going to leave them for about two to three days um, so that the wounds would heal and it's not going to be infested with fungus or some other bacteria that may be present in your soil. So we are going to go through um, my soil mix. So another thing uh, that we need to understand when we prepare a soil mix, it, it depends on your watering habits and also on your environment. So basically here, because I only have a home environment and I don't have a greenhouse, so my general rule is make sure that the um, soil mix is 
porous enough that it's not going to keep the water in the pot, but it's going to retain moisture. Okay, so here. So basically, this is um, one of the things that I use. Um, this is already a mix. It's, uh, the brand is called Puro. So it's a combination of cocoa pit, um, carbonized rice hull, perlite, and uh, pumice, and it also has vermicast. So this is, I, I use this because it's already a mix and it's flexible because you can also use this for your vegetable and your um, ornamentals. Okay? And then next thing that I have here, here is the lava rocks. So to make my, my soil mix fast draining, I put in a lot of um, rocks. <laughs> One example is the lava rocks. And then another one is pumice. So as you can see, I think this is the second to the smallest size because this is the only one available when, when I went to the garden center recently. Yeah. And then last thing, akadama. This is actually my first time to use akadama because so many people are talking about it, so <laughs> might as well try it. Um, so I, I, I bought the fine piece of akadama. And usually, uh, they said that you can put it on the soil mix itself and you can also put it as a topping. So akadama is a soil or, or um, that came from Japan. It's also, I believe it's uh, also a volcanic material. So, yeah. And then this one, this is basically how it's going to look like. So I already mixed everything, um, the puro soil mix, and then the lava rocks, and then the, the pumice here. And also, I put in some vermicast. So depende talaga sa inyo how you like it. But so far, I don't have a percentage. I only try to feel it. Mas gusto ko na nakifeel ko siya. <laughs> and feeling ko pag okay na yun na. Okay. So yeah, so let's, let's, let's do... Uh, are we, uh, by the way, I also have fertilizer here and also Startle G. Startle G is uh, a systemic uh, pesticide uh, from Thailand. So hinahalo na to sa soil mix kapag ka mag query pot ka. And then this is mud amp. Um, this is a slow release fertilizer. I got this. I got this from from Japan. So I've been trying this. I think for six months now. So far, so good. So, but sometimes you can also use any slow release like Osmoco, which is the yellow one. So let's start potting now. Okay. So first step, get a pot. So. I, I like this pot because it's huge. <laughs> it, it's, it's huge. Um, and also, I think it's, it is best fit for, for aloes. Medyo wide siya and then medyo deep din siya. So I think it's, it's perfect. So first thing that we are going to do... Um, by the way, I got this from my friend. So I'm just going to put in the link to his Facebook account so that you can buy. So first thing, they said that you should put some pumice and under the pot so that it's going to help in the draining of the water. So usually for this one, I put one, I think one quart with pumice. And then next, I'm going to put in the soil mix that I pre-mixed already. There. And then halfway through, we are going to add our sparkle G. Usually, ano lang, one scoop. 
And then our slow release fertilizer. Also one scoop. This set for MagAmp, it's going to last for two months or three months. So yeah, just put it there. And then start staging your plant. Kung saan nyo siya gustong ilagay na part ng pot. And then usually center it. And then just add soil. Medyo mahirap lang siya. So, tignan natin kung hanggang saan ko siya kayang hawakan. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos, so that it's going to settle. And we'll remove the air pockets there. So make sure that all the roots are under the soil. So I think we're good. We're good with this one. What I'm going to do um, as a topping. So you have an option. Either you can use the pumice the lava rocks or the akadama as a as a topping but for aloes i'll just use the lava rocks so one tip um don't fill your pot to the brim so that when you water it's not going to spill So sometimes it helps with the topping to position your plant. this Alo Castiglione hybrid. So yeah, and ganda na siya. I hope it's going to continue to grow. And I am not pulling out any pops on this because I want to I, I want this pot to get filled with uh, Castiglione. So if you would notice it already has the one, two, three Four more pops that are growing. So, and for for this specific aloe, I really put it under after the uh, under the sun, full sun without any filter, without any filter or without any protection. Uh, so I think it also helps. That's why if you would notice the leaves are we are compact. Um, it's starting to grow compact leaves as opposed to the original stem which is very long so there and then um, I'm going to repot the rest so our next plant that we are going to pot is this Ocho Fenere Crested yeah. so sobrang ganda niya no? Nung, bin, nung nakita ko siya sa picture, hindi na ako nag-second thoughts <laughs> para bilhin siya. Uh, sobrang pula siya when I, when I saw it. So I think just because 
uh, it went in, inside the box. That's why it turned green again. So hopefully, after I repot it, um, I'm going to give it full sun again. Um, so that it's going to give a blush. Okay, so just the same. Just the same, put in some humus under. Then your soil mix. And then slow release. So clean the roots. So this came from the package, so I'm not going to. It's it's dry already. So just add more. Bigyan natin ng humus. Medyo top heavy siya. So, just make sure na kapag nilagay mo siya dyan, stable siya at hindi siya gagalaw. Okay. Then, let's do the Lava Rocks na lang din kasi Mas mabigat yung Lava Rocks kesa sa Punis. So, para ma-hold niya talaga yung plant. Okay. Then... Medyo na-expose na yung dating na kabaon. Pero, okay na yan for me. Then, next natin si Euphorbia Isidurbis. Ayan. So, ulit, same process. One fourth, you miss. Then, soil mix. Ayan, medyo matagal natin ng humus na si soil mix. And then, after that, so kung meron kayong, ano ha, kung meron kayong ibang way to repot or paano nyo alagaan yung plant nyo, feel free to comment down below on this video so that, you know, we can interact, we can share our best practice. Because again, like what I've said, soil mix, medyo, may general rule, pero it really depends on your environment. So, basta fast draining, and then the composition, depende on your watering habits, and on the environment you are in. Okay. So, Okay, fertilizer. Dag dag. Soil. 
Dito center ba? Alam ko yung iba kasi super hosey. <laughs> Gusto nila talagang nasa center yung plant. Minsan may bubuo pa na ano, wormicast, so. There. Again. Let's put the toppings. Over rocks. Over rocks. Usually, pagka-grafted, lava rocks. Ako kasi mas mapigat. Heavier than humus, so it's going to hold the plant in its possession. Okay. Next, ito pa. My new star. First ata ito sa mga rare items na nabili ko during the lockdown. So basically, during the lockdown, nag-times to yung collection ko <laughs> ng mga cactus and supplements. Cactus lang, basically. Because there's nothing else to do. This is a Gymno Deadpool. Then, here is one more. This one, soil mix. Oops. Soil mix. Fertilizer. Soil release. Systemic pesticide. Center, add soil mix, Yon. so part part ng learning na shinere yesterday uh, by Jogi our friend from Japan. Um, they they repot every three months para daw mas mabilis yung growth ng plants. So, ayun, if you have the resources <laughs> and the time, repot every three months so that you can make your cacti grow better, bigger, So, oh, let's, let's give it one more. Let's do one more. See, mga bilang mga special to mga items na to. Why? Agua Dulce Hybrid. 13 ribs. So, if you're going to count, there are 13 ribs there. And, meron na rin siyang isang. Dahil grafted, this 
t-shirt ka. Dahil grafted, ganito ulit tayo na pa. By the way, shout out to Dran for this box. Buti na lang meron siyang stock during the lockdown. Nakapag-deliver siya. So, Dran, thank you. So, panoorin niyo yung mga iba kong videos um, there sa mga nursery tours na yon you'll see different kinds of techniques on how they grow uh, their plants. And for those new followers, for those new followers, I hope you enjoy this video. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. In Santa Laga, we have different type of coping mechanisms. <laughs> And starting your plant hobby is not bad at all. Especially ngayon, no? Baka gusto niyo na magtanim ng mga vegetables in your area. I highly suggest you join Facebook groups. Because it's really going to help you enrich your knowledge in plants. Ayan. So, we have four and a five. So, but for the purpose of this video, high speed na lang yung iba. <laughs> there you go. So, we're back. Sobrang nakakapag. <laughs> Wala pa siya sa kalahati ng dato kong irepat, but we have to move forward. So, ayan guys, ito na po yung mga na-repot natin from our Deadpool to our amazing aloes. So, I hope you enjoy guys and please like, comment, and subscribe to the Jello Sanctuary YouTube channel for more plant videos. Bye!